And he was like, hey, I, I stalk you. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Are you intrigued yet? Hmm? Hector Bridges with this interview, though. Interesting. Oh, nice to meet you. You should know who I am. How about now? Because I'm a connecting bitch. Oh my god, this is gonna be a giggle fest. If that does not intrigue you to watch this edition of Fashion Friday, I do not know what will. I had the pleasure of interviewing Sam Hamadi of Hamadi Designs and Alexander Sanchez of Alexander Sanchez Designs, where they talk about fashion designer party tricks, what new designers should know, and a hilarious story about how they met. Stick around. My name is Sky Lucking, host of Courageous Creatives. Today is Fashion Friday, where I interview fashion designers, fashion models, and cover all that's going on in Arizona fashion and fashion around the world. If that sounds like that's up your alley or down your runway, consider hitting the subscribe button. It's a long one, but it is totally worth it. I particularly love the fashion designer party tricks and the story about how they met toward the end of the video. Check it out. <laughs> this is Alexander Sanchez from Alexander Sanchez Designs. You're the long lost love child of John Galliano and somebody else, we don't know who yet. I love you, John Galliano. <laughs> and he lives literally a few houses down from me. Actually, correct, a block. <laughs> oh, is it a block? <laughs> <laughs> and this is Sam Hamadi with Sam Hamadi Designs. People are just starting out in the industry. It's lots of sleepless nights, man hours, not knowing what you're doing, and just kind of faking your way through it. Literally <laughs> blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. Lots of blood, actually, which is unfortunate, because, you know, all the sharp tools we use. I mean, we've sewn through, I've sewn through fingers, I've, uh... When we were doing the fringe. Oh, that's Ooh. so much fun. Fringe is a pain in the ass, like leather fringe to make because you're using so many razor blades at a single time. You slice yourself open, not even tr meaning to. Be prepared to bleed. Be prepared to not know what you're doing, but have faith in yourself. Like having faith in yourself is a big part of this industry. Like just put out your collection as you intend it. Don't think about your audience. Your audience will come. It's one of those you build it, they will come moments mm -hmm. because your people will find you regardless of where you're at in the world, and you'll find your people. The advice I would give to somebody just starting out is don't go into it thinking that you're going to be the top designer. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. Because you're not. So sorry. Bubble pop. Oh, Don't be afraid to do little things. Yo, the little things save your ass in the end. Yeah. Like, like don't, like if somebody asks you, oh, so a button, don't throw a fit because you feel you're being I'm belittled. too good for this. Yeah. yeah. That's no. horrible. I think that there's a lot of learning and discovery of yourself and your art and your craft and the things that you do like versus the things that you don't, your style. And I think having a clear vision of your aesthetic and your your goal is really important. I think a lot of people who are artists in general, fashion designers, artists, painters, sculptors, makeup artists, all across the board, lose track of what it is that they're doing. Like they, if if you have a goal to go work at Mac, what are you going to do after that? Or if you have a goal of being a fashion designer. What are you going to do beyond Arizona? Or what are you going to learn? Because fashion is not just a city or the country that you live in. It's the entire it's world. Construct too. And don't be scared. Don't be scared to fail. Don't be scared to try new things. Don't be scared to own your mistakes. Yeah. Own, yeah. Own, it's a little bit, for me, it's a more ownership than don't be scared. Like, mm -hmm. own what you do. You did it. Do it. Find out what happens. Like, oops, sorry, I didn't know it was going to be received like this. Let me take a step back. Reevaluate. Even in smaller, smaller examples of like, I didn't like how that stitch met met that seam or whatever. I feel like we have a certain standard, aesthetic standard. Whenever I look at something, I look at I look at its history, I look at its inspiration, I look at the possibilities of how it was made, where it may have been derived from, the creative input. Like if if it's a trash bag, it could still look phenomenal yeah there's always a sense of craft you always have to have a sense of craft if you're just doing something just to do it just because you're it doesn't, it doesn't look that great well not even that it's like 
you have to have intention and love for what you are doing. And if you're just doing it just to do it because you're bored, great, but have intention. Intention, and you have to have. <laughs>
I don't know. I love textiles. It's super easy for me. You know how you touch fabric. You're like, uh, this is 42% cotton and 58% polyester. But you're like, hmm, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, make it 55% five, polyester and 3% spandex. Because you're like, Whoa. it's just fun. It's a fun, For me, it's a fun party track. It especially is. If you're with other designers and you're like, let's play guess the fabric. I'm doing it at the with, mall. At the mall. This is what designers like, do Let's at the go mall. to the department stores and let's see what's real and what's not. And what's not. <laughs> and then you're all like, oh, this feels like silk. But I think it's a lie. And then you flip it over. And it's nylon. It's, it's nylon. Fun to play that game. Especially if you're out with other designers or models. Or anybody who works in the fashion industry. It's a fun game to play. Uh... <laughs> Hold on, there's two sides to the story. So I'll tell mine first because it's creepier. I was following Alex on Instagram because he seemed like uh, Angela Johnson's protege. So I was like, okay, this is her favorite. I gotta get into this headspace and figure out who he is and why she likes him so much because I'm a conniving bitch. Uh, <laughs> um, was the grand opening of Fabric, the Fashion and Business Resource Innovation Center in Tempe. I saw him just walking around just minding his own business, and I come up to him, and I was like, Hi, I'm Sam Hamadi, and I've been stalking you on Instagram. Oh. Hello. Oh, nice to meet you. You should know who I am. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> you were super nice, like, super cordial. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know who Sam was. I did it. And, um, the first time I met him was at the, when he introduced himself, and then so creepy all the time. So cute. Was it? Yeah, yeah. it's cute now. Yeah. Before, yeah, it's super I, creepy already. And then afterwards, we I had a party and he came and then... Yeah, I, that was the weird thing because you invited me to your Super Bowl party. Mm -hmm. By the way, we're both gay. Do you think we watched the Super Bowl? No, why did we watch the Super Bowl? Gaga! Gaga, yeah, Lady Gaga. Just for the party, then it was like every other day I was, he was either here or I was at his place. Mm -hmm. Just talking about fashion, bullshit, love life. Hey, you want to go to the gym? Call me at like 6 in the morning, morning. and just like... What? I don't want to go, but I come. I'll come. <laughs> I'm Hamadi Official on Instagram and Hamadi Designs on Facebook. And you can follow me on Instagram at Alexander's underscore design. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you Sky Lucking for filming this for us. Thank you so much. Alex and Sam. This was actually a 35 minute interview that I really had to condense down into 10, 11 minutes of just some wisdom that they had, but it was a delight to spend the afternoon with both of them. Sam and Alex's information is in the description below. And they had one other thing to say that I thought I might share. Like and subscribe and hit that little stupid bell button because you want to get notifications for her. She does such amazing work on YouTube and you got to watch it all, especially for Arizona fashion. Beyond. And remember, you, you are, are courageous. courageous.